Hello there. Today we're talking Britain's reinforcements. <laughs> yes, hello and welcome to the channel. Um, if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for taking your time to return to one of my videos. And if you're new to the channel, well, thank you very much for watching one of my videos for the first time maybe consider subscribing and that way you can catch more of my silly little videos okay let's have a look at what we got today and today we have these a very lovely britain soldiers which i'm calling a uh, a reinforcement of soldiers but actually if you've seen my um, original britain's video uh, i'll leave a link in the description these guys actually feature in the beginning and then I forgot all about them and um, I, I, I never really got around to talking about them. So uh, they're briefly seen there. And uh, this Land Rover, I picked this up last year, October, I think. I think it features in my uh, Christmas video, if you go back and, uh, and look at that. And this 25 pounder, I picked that up in a charity shop in England last summer so that features in my summer pickups video that i made links to all of those videos down in the description or you can go and just check out my channel go through the videos and find them yourself right okay let's begin with the land rover this is the military land rover we can tell it's military land rover because it's got an m on it for military um Unfortunately, they, they never released a, um, anything for the British guys for, for, for the Second World War series. Um, Land Rovers didn't exist around that time, so they, I guess everyone just used the old Willys Jeep. And that was um, produced to be with the Americans. Now, as you see, we've got a, a, a lovely chap there driving. It's got a radio pack. This is the original radio pack, but I've painted it black. It should be... Um, Sort of like a, a brownie color and then I've got this guy stuck up here on the roof because for a long time I only had the gunner and I didn't have the Land Rover and I thought I'd lost the Land Rover so obviously I threw the gunner away because you know there would never possibly come another Land Rover and of course I found the bloody Land Rover and now I don't have the gunner but I do have this guy which is also a Britain's soldier, but is the only one that I've got of this type. He has a plastic base. If I remove his um, blob of blue tech, you can see there underneath Britain's made in Hong Kong. Interesting. Um, but yeah, this guy, plastic Britain's. These guys are Britain's detail. Well, these are super detail. Makes them even better, doesn't it? Right. So, but this guy sort of sits in here on the Land Rover, and um, almost it's, it's almost complete. Then makes me feel a little bit better about life and other things. Um, has some nice suspension and rolls quite well. I remember playing with it quite a lot when I was a kid. So this one's actually quite beaten up. Well, it's got a few dents and scratches in it, but a far, far more than I ever had on my um, German Scout car and my Willys Jeep. So um, this one obviously had a harder life. It's also missing a wing mirror, I've just noticed. Right, okay. So that's the Land Rover. Right, now let's have a look at these fellas then. As you see, they are the Britain's Super Detail because they have super detail and these are more modern day soldiers well they would have been modern day from the 1980s i guess when when they came out so i have this set of paras paratroopers this guy unfortunately the barrel's broken off his gun i've got two guys with rocket launchers or bazookas And we have, I don't know, is it a captain or a major, maybe a lieutenant, 
with his pistol on. All set for action, it's pretty cool. And then with the green caps, these guys are the commandos. Also with a captain or major or lieutenant or colonel. And then a guy throwing a grenade. All pretty cool. We can look at the difference. Not only do they have different hats, they have different colored guns, which is pretty cool. And also their camouflage is different, the backpacks. So it's quite varied, uh, different paint jobs. Maybe that's why they're super Britons. You can see the mold isn't, you know it's Britons because they haven't finished it off properly. You might need to get a scalpel and just nip off those little bits of uh, residue. Right, so anyway, that's those guys. Britons also um, made the SAS troops, which is basically the same, but with a grey cap. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture, and if I do, it will come in here. Boop. And if I don't, you'll just have my finger. Boop. Right, okay. Um, now, the last thing I have is this beautiful 25-pounder. Now, my 25-pounder that I had as a kid, unfortunately, it split down the middle and all just fell to pieces. The spring fell out and the, the firing mechanism just fell to pieces. So um, I was quite happy when I saw this one in a charity shop. It cost me £5, but I think that's pretty reasonable for uh, such an old toy. And this one's in really good condition. It's just got a few little chips in it. You can actually hook it up to the back of the Land Rover, which is nice. We can get that to the battlefield now quicker than pushing it, I guess. Also nice that the Land Rover has a sort of um, hooked towel hitch instead of a straight up one. So the, it doesn't constantly fall directly off. Anyway. That's interesting, isn't it? Now, let's see if it actually fires. Because I have here, oh, I had before I dropped it. There it is. I have here, I've dropped it again. Now I've dropped it on the floor. It's, it's getting worse. Bear with me a second. Right, okay, I found it. Here it is. I'm going to try not to drop it again. But this is one of the plastic shells that go with the... Um, the thing and uh, we can load it like so and then we'll see if it fires right let's move these guys to some some form of safety and does it fire one two three yeah it fires super exciting that is let's do it again Wow, amazing stuff. Right, okay, now I have also heard rumors online. Online? Rumors? I'm uh, all falsehoods and um, nonsense. People have put down in the comments that they used to fire matchsticks. So I've got a matchstick. I want to see if it actually fits. Does it fit down the barrel or is it going to jam it up? Oh, it just fits in there. Okay, right. Exciting, exciting times. The matchstick is in there. Let's see if it fires for elevation. Ah, yes, it got stuck in the barrel. Okay, so my matchstick is too big. Let's get rid of that. Now I'm going to try the toothpick, which actually looks like a steak. It's great for killing vampires of a small scale vampires. Okay, there it is. Full elevation and fire. Fire. There we go. Oh, yeah. That one went well. Did it go better than the plastic thing? The plastic thing in there again. And fire. Oh, 
Yeah, definitely went better than plastic thing because that just landed there. Look, I've got another one. It's just a toothpick. I've cut it in half. Thus, I have two things. And fire. Yes. Now, that was full of excitement, wasn't it? And there, I can definitely say toothpicks work better than matchsticks. And the plastic things work okay, but they get lost quite easily. And they're easy to drop. We found that out as well. Right, let's round all this nonsense up. Okay, so there you have it. My Britain's super detail uh, reinforcements. The commandos and the paratroopers. And the military Land Rover. And the normal Britain soldier. And, of course, the 25-pounder. Right, okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Um, if you're not already subscribed, why not hit the subscribe button? Um, why not share the video with uh, fellow Britain's enthusiasts? Because um, why not? And um, yes, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.